Hey guys, Dan here. Welcome back to another video with the Out the Door HD channel. Uh, today, we are going to be showing you how to make a survival fire if you're low on resources but are lucky enough to have these few items. Let's get into it. Okay guys, so it's kind of cold outside right now cold in the garage where I'm filming and I need some heat so what do you do you grab your items okay guys so now that we have our two items they don't look like they're in the right form but anyways this is steel wool and this is a battery what we really need is This, this is really what we need. We actually just need this by itself and a different battery. So this battery into this battery. So yeah, now this on a wood surface will not be very good. So let's get There we go. This is what we needed. We need a steel base. Actually, this isn't steel, this is aluminum, but whatever. Same difference, we, it'll still work. But before we can do the full experiment, I wanna show you what happens to just this steel wool right here. If you touch this battery to it, there you go. And if you add oxygen, That's what will happen. And it cools down instantly after it does that. So we can just sweep that out of the way. And we can get our two things back, right? Here. There you go, they're back. And now, what we need to do is we need to find something that will uh, catch on fire so we don't have to use this as the fire the whole time. So let's get into that. So guys, this will come in uh, the form of dust and sawdust from my lathe, which will be in a separate video coming soon. Go watch that if it's out. Um, but yeah, let's get some of this. Okay guys, so now we need a second option for tinder if we don't have the option for sawdust. So what we will need is something to do this with. Well, here we go. Uh, nice knife. So we're going to unsheath the knife. And now I'll explain. So we're wearing pants every single day, right? Most of us, I hope but we don't know that on our pants is a sufficient tinder so we can just scrape our pants i don't know if you can see this but there's something going on here here let's just do it down here too And let's bring it back up to here. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see this crease. It's not really a crease, but it looks like one. It is actually our tinder. Let's put that onto the blade. There you go. That's what you get. Here, let's make sure it doesn't fall away. Here. That's all you get from just the little amount of time I spent. But this is extremely flammable. So let's get into that. Okay guys, so we're back at our little table over here. And we need something else. 
to hold all our tinder and stuff. So let's get that right here. Okay guys, so here it is. This is what, our, what we're going to be putting our tinder on. But it's not there right now. So let's fix that. Here we go. Here are three different things. Oh wait, we still forgot one and it's gonna be right here. Don't know if you can see that, but I can see it. So you'll also have to blame me on this. So now we're gonna wanna tear a piece of cotton wool, or steel wool I mean, forgive me, and just put it down there. Now we are going to want to take like a little spoon or a knife so we can uh, put this sawdust on there. And here we go. It's right there. So what we're going to want to do is have our knife with some sawdust on it in one hand. Make sure you get a few different types of sawdust. There we go. We're going to light off our steel wool, pour it on, and then blow. There you go. I don't know if you can see, there's some fire action going on here. There you go. There's a little bit of fire going on right here. There we go. And as you can see, it works. So now we're just gonna wanna put this out. So we're just gonna smush it down with our knife. And then, there you go. It should go out eventually. Let's just move that to the side. Take some more steel wool. Here we go. Just bunch that up nice. Put that in the same spot. This time we're gonna have this already on it. There we go. Now let's light it right there and blow. There you go. I don't know if you can see it burn, but it burnt up really nice and fast. And let's just finish this off. There we go. Now it's completely cool to the touch. You can smush it if you like. Nothing. I'll just get your hands dirty, and I'll turn a little darker. There you go. So, back up. Okay guys, so now we're back up here, we've done all our things, and say a thank you to all the people who have just been here and watching the videos, which I know it's only a couple of you but it still means the world to me. Go down and comment down below. Like, um, do whatever you want down there. You can even dislike if you want. I prefer the like button, but yeah. Thanks for watching and peace.